Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Stone Block Mod Pack. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing fantastic, guys. Today's episode 30. Got a pretty awesome episode planned for you, but uh, man, I can't believe it. All the follows I got on Instagram yesterday. You guys are pretty freaking awesome. Anyways, let's do question of the day. It comes from Twitter from Haley Baby, and I've kind of adjusted it a little bit to fit the video's needs. What is your ideal gaming setup? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to send me some more, make sure you hit me up at Twitter at iJevin. Otherwise, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So first off, I just want to thank you guys for an awesome response to yesterday's video. I had mentioned that I wasn't very good at advertising and I kind of put my links out there, you know, not really not knowing really how it was going to go. Holy crap. <laughs> we got over like 150 followers on Instagram yesterday alone. So if you guys haven't already followed me on Instagram, my name is Jevin Nation on there. You can also find the link in the description. Uh, even more so, we got three new patrons yesterday. That's awesome. Thank you guys, Jim, Jeff, and then Johnny. The three J's. I had to remember them. Your boy's a steel trap. I'm just saying. And then the Amazon links, holy crap, there was like 600 uh, clicks on the link yesterday. Guys, that's insane. So thank you all for your support. Make sure you check out those links in the description. So last time we left off, we made our sort of super Emmy system here. This thing is, this thing is bad, baby. Um, so today we've actually got to work on this room. This thing is a... Ooh. Not good. So I thought we would start off by making or seeing if we have a chisel. I actually think, um, hold on. I want to make the diamond chisel. There we go. So let's make a diamond chisel. And then I think we're going to start off with some factory blocks because, well, factory blocks, they're the best looking game to me. My opinion, my humble opinion, factory blocks are by far the best block in the game. There we go. So let's make a bunch of those. We'll start with 62 sticks to 64. Now, typically, I'll do these for the floor because I really, really like the way that these blocks look. So let's just remove some of this real fast. And since the I typically double my floor as my ceiling, we've already got floor and ceiling finished. There we go. A little laggy. It's a little, a little laggy. A little laggy. There we go. I, yeah, I love these blocks. These are like by far my favorite blocks. Now, what do we use for the walls, though, is the real question. I kind of want something that's going to either have a really cool connected texture that we can use pretty much all over the place. Like, first off, let's let's try like this factory block right here. Because that's a uh, nah, that's that's not what I'm looking for. Try it again. Try it again. I'm glad I made this chisel. Um, ooh. What about metal columns? Oh, it's got a cool connected texture, too. Too bright? Eh, maybe. Well, yeah, I think if we're looking at that a lot, that's going to be too bright. Let's try that again. What else could we do? Um, I mean, there's so many options. There's so many options, man. Uh, these down here, I don't really consider what I would be able to use because those are a little bit too far outside of the spectrum. What about like this factory steel block? Wow, that's pretty cool looking. How does the texture look? So what's it look like fully stacked? Okay, you know what? I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. Um, let's actually do at chisel. And just see if there's any more blocks that we can do here. These are all pretty much colored tones. There's the f uh, these factory. Yeah, these are the factory blocks. That's what we're using now. Is there any other cool like sort of fantasy blocks? Those are factory blocks too. Well, there really isn't much more, is there? Hmm. We are going to have to get kind of clever here, aren't we? Yeah, they're really. I thought there would be more by now. This is kind of the same blocks that we've had for the longest time. All right. Um. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna find a block to use that matches this pretty well, and then from there I'm gonna work on a shape 
and things like that and just kind of get an overall feel for the room and I'll come back. All right, guys, I decided to go for sort of an industrial looking base. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but we're very, very limited on the style of blocks and this pack. Uh, there's tons of facades and stuff, but when it comes to actual blocks, there's not really that many. So uh, using the factory blocks, the yellow factory uh, caution stripes, then the floor ceiling blocks, and then these light gray actually add on lamps. To get the lamps, I actually needed to make dye. So I made dye uh, essence. And if we go, I want to say it's this one. Am I going to nail it? I did not, in fact, nail it. I think it's over here this is the way we get yeah this is the way we get over here so if we go here and then yeah so this is our little seed farm i've actually got this thing running full speed right now we have got so much stuff going in there i'm telling you guys we could we could make one of each seed and then make a few of these watches a flowing time and then just never have to use anything ever again like that system would supply the entire setup for the rest of the series it's insane <laughs> so with that being said, there's just a few little things we need to take care of. First off, let's go downstairs. I haven't done anything downstairs yet. So these, this will need to be fixed. Now down here, um, I'm not sure that I want to use the factory blocks down here. Uh, I know for, well, I know for a fact we're using the factory blocks. What I meant is I don't think we're going to use the yellow factory blocks. Um, let me grab what I have real fast and then let me grab my chisel. I want to keep it sort of similar in design, but I think in the basement, it just needs to be a little bit more downplayed. Um, hmm. I kind of just want to use a single block almost like maybe like this, like this old factory block like that right there would be pretty cool in the basement. Eh, I don't know. Let's go down there and mess with it a little bit. So if we were going to do the floor, obviously we know that we're going to do the floor because of the ceiling. Let's put this here. So this is uh, all of those extra storage pieces that we were using. I kind of got those all covered up now. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, I like that. And that'll go all the way around. Try to have seven off real fast. Um, another thing that we need to do is we need light in here because it's always so, so dark. So these lamps, oh, by the way, guys, if you do not use these lamps, you should be. These lamps are fantastic. Not only do they have a really cool texture, but they're so, so easy to use and make. There we go. Set an F7 real fast. I'm thinking about getting rid of the glowstone. Actually, you know what? Instead of getting rid of the glowstone, let's just switch over to these lamps. There. Make that real easy on us. There we go. Okay. And finally, right there. Whoops, I'm going upwards. Okay, there, so let's turn these on. Um, you know, you guys may not like this look a little bit, but I do actually have an idea. All right, let's remove. I say we just do everything in factory blocks, like these ones that we have right here. I know it's gonna be a lot of black down here, but this is like a basement after all. So let's do all of this. There we go. So we would just go here. I know it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of factory block down here. So something like that right there. <clears throat> you know what, though? That's not so bad, because like I said, it's kind of like an underground basement. So I really, really like that. Um, and then the only thing really left to do, uh, depending on if we're going to make one of these over here or not, we should probably eventually put that in. So right now I've just got to transfer all these blocks over. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do with this cobblestone. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take care of that right now. Let's just grab a transporter. We'll just grab a diamond one. Go down because there's a lot of cobblestone in there. Put it right there. There we go. So that's now touching the system. Beforehand, we had like 500 cobble, 5,000 cobblestone. Now, <laughs> now we've got like 400 K. Oh, my goodness. All right, so I wanted to make some more watches of flowing time, but we do not have any coal. So what we need to do is I think we're going to need to make some coal seeds here. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> All right. Um, so instead of doing it just like that, what I think we're going to do 
is I think in the mining dimension or in a room somewhere hidden around here, we are going to make a factory to make the watches of flowing time. All right, guys, so I am in the mining dimension. I was having problems, right? My world or my game would crash every time I joined this world. So I deleted the dim file, which is your dimension file. And it looks like we're in the same world again, but this time all my stuff is gone. Um, that was the only thing I could think to do to get this world to even load. So we're missing a few things, obviously, uh, including a portal. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm hundred percent giving my stuff back. Right. Cause like, that's ridiculous. So we had cable. So let's grab some conduit real fast. We had uh, three pieces of that. We had the specter network, which was this guy. And then we had two of the tier five solar panels. These guys right there. There we go. Turn that off. All right. So that gives me my blocks back that I lost because I am not really sure what happened. Um, and if you look at the mini map, it's still claiming over here for some reason. So that's where my stuff initially was. And is the mini map still noticing a hole in the ground over there? Uh, Oh, okay, it's just a cave, I see. All right, so we have got to get back to the overworld first off. Um, I was coming to the dimension because I wanted to set up. Um, I only had two pieces, so let me trash that other one. There we go. I wanted to come here so I could set up crafters to run um, to give us uh, things that we need. Okay, those are all claimed. So now I have no idea how this is going to work. Uh, I've got to recraft the portal. Uh, ooh, I can't. Why won't it let me? That's not the right cobblestone. All right. Interesting. So we're going to have to go back into cheat mode here to give myself the mining portal blocks. Uh, portal. There we go. Technically, I had already crafted them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Two, three, four. One, two, three. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Yeah, some some sort of weird glitch there. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, let's try this again. Shift. So where is it going to put us in the overall and if it loads at all? I'm just going to record. Oh, nope. Oh, OK. So I'm definitely back, but I'm super, super far away from my portal or from my base this time. All right, let's try to get over there real fast. Yeah, uh, I don't think I can vein mine. I can try. No, I can't vein mine. All right, <laughs> I've got mine all the way over there. Oh my goodness, it's so far away too. Oh my god, look at this mini map. If I can't even pull it up, holy crap. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I don't typically cheat because I'm not a cheater, and I hate that kind of stuff. But uh, game mode one. So let's just break through all this. Can I vein mine that now? No, you still can't vein mine. That's weird. Let's just break through all this stuff and get over here and see if everything is intact still. Because it did crash a few times on me. I, don't wanna, I just want to make sure I didn't lose anything. Okay, so we should be coming up on the area right about now. I might have to go over a little bit here. Oh, well, I'm in my loaded zone now. Go just a little bit forward. So like, try like right here, I think. Hopefully I'm on the same level. No. Well, there goes like 40,000 pieces of uh, XP. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. All right. Starting the day off strong here, people. All right, let's get out of game mode. There we go. So now that we're back, my portal's still here. This is the initial portal that I went through. Okay. All right. By the way, you can put mending on this guy. So let's try it again. Where's it going to put us this time now that the world's clean? I wonder if it sinks to portals or not. Oh, this is such a huge hassle. Why did you have to crash game and mess everything up? It's all your fault. All your fault. It's just loading again. See, like, I don't know if it's taking forever to get into the world, 
But there's something wrong with that portal because there is nothing happening here. This is exactly... Oh, no. Nope. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay. So, same world? Same world. Okay. I think we're okay now. So, what I wanted to do was, is I wanted to get the Watch of Flowing Time out here and set up these crafters um, to make what? It's pretty much just coal, isn't it? Um, well, here. Let's see. Watch. So, we would need to make the Watch of Flowing Time, which I could probably just make by myself. This is dark matter. That's easy. The thing that's hard is the pedestal. The pedestal is a pain in the booty to craft. It takes dark matter and red matter. So we would have to make recipes for dark matter, red matter. Hmm. It's going to definitely take more than four crafters. That's for certain. Um, okay. Game plan. Let's, let's strategize really quickly. Now that the crash has been recovered, um, I'm going to go ahead and get working on this setup to make this now i'm going to go ahead and steal my pedestal and everything so i can grow the seeds here 100 percent gonna need to make more coal seeds okay guys we are running into some issues i had to do it here the mining dimensions way too laggy so this crafter is actually having issues using these uh as a crafting source so put the recipe there it's getting coal so what we need to do is we need to put the Philosopher's Stone there. Grab some coal and do that. Always active. Um, put that there. So that is... Why do I not have any power? Do these have power? Those are... No, those don't have... That one has full power. Uh, What? Okay. I think the mining dimension is screwing us over again, guys. Ugh, why is that not working? I know for a fact that I've got like a jillion power. Okay. Still not accepting power. What the hell is going on? Hold on. We got to run to the mining dimension real fast. Ever since I've had that crash, my game has been acting super, super funny. Um, hasn't been working right like or anything. Okay. Everything over here seems to be according. I mean, these don't have any stored energy. Why do these not have any stored energy? I know for a fact we're not using 5,000 RF per tick or whatever. Uh, let's break them and replace them. See if that'll do anything. Hmm, nope. <laughs> There's no possible way I'm using that much power. I'm not even, I don't even have anything powered, really. Something is, there is something very, very wrong going on right now. And I cannot figure out what it is. I have no idea. Let's keep, let's keep looking, though, and see if we can find the solution. Um, okay. That's out of power. That, does that have a spectre coil on it? It does. Um, the spectre network should be getting power. Uh, and it's not so I'm not I don't see the issue and it's really starting to bug me. What is the problem? I don't get it There's something something seriously wrong here Let's see this area over here is chunk loaded meaning that when it's chunk loaded This should be running full time these are generating a hundred percent efficiency and here, I'm going to grab an item real fast just to be 100% certain. I just don't want to go go back to the other, other world real fast. I'll delete it when I'm done. We have got to figure out what's going on, though. There we go. Grab a conduit probe real fast. This should tell us what's in the cable. Capacitor bank storage, 0, 0. Machine buffer, 1,500. Average output, 1,000 RF per tick. Okay. So we've got power going through there, but what is using all of our power? We don't have anything set up. There's no quarry running, nothing like that. So there's something seriously up here. I'm not sure what's going on either. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Maybe we might. I don't want to have to switch another cell or anything. 
But if you look over here, this guy's com. Okay, well, is this what's using all of our power? Dude, there's no way. I'm completely blown away that that was using. There's. That doesn't make any sense. There's no way that thing is running that fast. <laughs> um. Okay, maybe it is. That machine is evil. Oh my god. Dude. Anyways, you see the problem. So, what I think I'm going to try to do is I think I'm going to try to use another machine. This time I'm just going to use a tier 1 crafter. Now, I had messed around with this before, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, so, we've got the recipe here. Keep one item in every inventory slot. I can do that. So we can just fill this up right here and then put this in there. Okay. The result of crafting operation will go into output buffer. Okay. Result of crafting operation will go into output buffer, but remaining buckets like buckets will stay in. That is a hundred percent what we want. So we want this. So apply. Now, let's put some items in there. This has got full power. Apply. Uh, remember the current items. Okay. And uh, ignored. So why is it not running? Let's put some power on that just to be 100% certain. I'm not sure why it's not working. Uh, okay. Okay. Dude, am I losing my mind or something like right now? Like what? What's going on here? I think I'm actually losing my mind. I think that's actually a thing right now. Um, all items and input slots are consumed. Keep one in every inventory slot. Okay. I'm just going to make another recipe for it. Uh, result of crafting operation will go to output buffer. We'll go to output buffer, but things like buckets will stay. Okay. Guys, I got nothing here, man. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I'm going to make another one of those machines. I think I'm, I'm I think I'm actually losing it. I feel like I'm doing something wrong and I feel like you guys are going to like just absolutely nail me in the comment section right now. There's got to be some reason for this nonsense. I hope my world's not broken. That's the thing I'm most worried about right now two of those okay let's try this again with a brand new machine see if that makes any bit of difference okay so one of these has items and it one of them doesn't this one doesn't okay first start here we go so first off power okay we've got power we're looking good folks we're looking good so now put this in my inventory this in my inventory Crafting recipe, alternatives, whatever the alchemical coal, apply. But for that recipe, we want to do some settings here. All items and output slots are consumed or input slots are consumed. But we also want that special result. Result of crafting operation to go to the output buffer, but remaining items like, okay. Hopefully that counts as a remaining item. So put that in there. Put that in there. What the hell is the difference? I don't understand. Is it is the all the difference in that? Hold on. Let's click on that and change that to all apply. That's OK. That's OK. So that was my fault. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So not everything is completely broken. <laughs> oh, my God. That thing is confusing. But still doesn't make sense as to why this thing is just annihilating power. It's even running on single instead of area. Um, this thing is using like 500 or, or more RF per tick almost. Let's do area. I bet it goes even faster. Good Lord, man. This episode, guys, I apologize. It's It's been bad. <sighs> All right. I'm going to go ahead in the episode here because I need to step away from this game for a little while. I will, <laughs> I will be back next episode with uh, with some fresh perspective. So everybody have a good day. Thank you all for watching. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.